So, you finally bagged yourself that big buck, got it home, and processed the meat out? We're going to show you what to do next. Thanks for joining us. This week on Field to Table, we're gonna take some pieces, I think those are backstrap pieces that have been frozen in my freezer this winter. We're gonna cook them over a fire. So what you're gonna need for this is a couple venison steaks, four ounces-ish, a squirrel cooker or spit to suspend them over the fire, some garlic infused olive oil, sticks of varying sizes and logs, and a well-constructed fire pit dug down through the snow. You're going to start by laying some big logs in the bottom of your fire pit to make sure your fire doesn't burn down through to the wet ground. Then you're gonna grab some tinder or fat wood, pieces of pine with oils infused in them, and some of the smaller sticks, and you're gonna try and use the fat wood and a lighter to light the smaller sticks. Now because we're using fat wood, you'll notice the black smoke coming off it. You want to make sure all the fat wood is burned off before you start cooking over this. Which you really want to do anyway because you want to have a nice coal bed going. That's where all your heat comes from. You don't cook with flames, you cook with coals. Once you know your wood's burning because you hear spitting and crackling from the wood, you can go ahead and add more and bigger sticks. At this point, now that you know it's burning the sticks and the big wood, not just the tinder, you can go ahead and add some bigger sticks and logs. Don't be afraid that it started smoking. It just means that it's holding the heat in. Now, if you don't see any flame and it's smoking, you might want to open up some air channels. While we're waiting for our fire to build up, we're going to go ahead and season our steaks. This is just some garlic infused olive oil I made. It's some minced garlic in some olive oil that's been sitting there for a couple months. I shook it up real good. It smells great. We're just gonna go ahead and drizzle some. You're gonna wanna drizzle a healthy portion on both sides. Don't be afraid to get some actual garlic on it. Then just spread it in. Make sure you pick a clean patch of snow to do this. At this point, with our steaks prepped and our fire going, we're just tending the fire until it gets down to some coal bed that we can cook on. The whole time you're waiting for coals, you just need to be tending the fire, pushing things back in toward the middle. Once your fire has a nice coal bed going, you're gonna take your steaks one at a time and slide them onto your spit or squirrel cooker. I recommend going through the fattest section you can so it has a good hold. And you wanna use the tines to spread it out. There we go. Now you want your squirrel cooker ring implanted in the ground at a place where you can section the squirrel cooker over the coal bed. Position your meat. Now you're going to want to keep an eye on it for about 10 to 15 minutes. You're going to rotate it a couple times in that time and then we'll see how it is. 
starting to hear juices drip and sizzle, so I'm going to take this opportunity to flip it before it starts to burn. Got nice color going on that back side, a little bit of sear. It's looking like a good piece of meat. As it's cooking, you may need to reposition the coals around it. And don't be afraid to move the piece of meat away from the flames. It's been about five minutes, so we're going to go ahead and flip it again. Starting to get some real nice color into here. It's not burning the garlic, it's searing the ends. It's looking really good. It's starting to drip juices and cause fires, so I'm gonna give it one more flip and then adjust the coal bed, and I think it'll be good then. You can see the fat rendered out on each on it, and the garlic seared in, sear around the edges. It's looking good. It's a nice looking piece of meat. I'm just gonna get a sear on the other side and call it good. The important parts of cooking over an open fire are to maintain your coal bed. You're going to have to move the coals around actively. You can't just sit there and watch it. You want to maintain the height of your meat, the heat of your coal bed. You'll notice I started with a lot of wood. You're probably going to start with about three times as much wood as you think because developing that coal bed will take about half your pile and then maintaining the coal bed is going to take the rest. I burned through that whole pile of wood I had just to cook these pieces of meat. Now we're going to go ahead and pull that steak off and let it rest for five minutes. You can see the juices have just been dripping off of it down into the snow. Let's go ahead and give it a test. Oh yeah. Barely pink. I know, everyone's going to say it's overdone, but it's a little pink. Peels right off. Tastes delicious. So if you enjoyed this field to table where I cooked in a field, you know, give this a thumbs up, click subscribe down there somewhere. This has been MI Adventure Life, field to table. Thanks for watching, guys.